the only way to learn mathematics. That's the title of this video. That title is half of a quote by a famous mathematician who passed away many years ago. He was from Hungary and he was regarded as one of the top mathematicians of his time and he still is considered by many people to be a great mathematician. He did a lot of good things. He proved a lot of things. He wrote a lot of books. I have most of his books. And so the quote, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. And I think it's even more important now than it was when Paul first said it. Now, I don't know when Paul Halmos first used this quote. I don't know. But it was probably a long time ago, perhaps before the internet was so popular. And so, in the world we live in today, with our phones, with the internet, TikTok, Instagram, it's really easy to fall into the trap of just watching videos. And th there's nothing wrong with watching videos. I mean, you're watching a video right now, <laughs> but this, this is a math video at least. But if you only watch videos of you know, people doing math or talking about math, you're not going to really, really learn mathematics. You have to actually do mathematics. You do. And again, it might seem like an obvious statement, but I don't think it is. You know, I, I had a student once, really great guy, really smart, and sometimes he would come to my office and we would talk about mathematics. Uh, he, was in, he was in my college algebra class. And he would watch videos on YouTube from other popular YouTubers. And he would say, oh, I saw this video on YouTube. Did you see it? Uh, he did this integral. It's really cool. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's really cool. And he would show me. And like, oh, it's like that's what a, how clever. You know, and we had fun with that. But he wasn't doing any more math beyond that. Like, he really wasn't doing a lot of his homework. He wasn't really doing the math he needed to do to succeed in the class. Instead, he was just kind of focusing on whatever he thought was cool online. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's good. But he had a hard time in my class, and he, he did pass, and he did okay, because he always wanted to do something different, something that we weren't covering or something he thought was cooler, which a lot of the stuff he showed me was cooler. But he didn't do the mathematics that he needed to do uh, in the class, at least at first. So in order to actually learn math, you have to do it. You know, if you, if you sit there and you watch a video of someone working out an integral using some integration technique, and you say, oh, okay, and there might be a couple parts in that video that don't make sense, but then you watch it again, and then you think you got it, that's great, you do get something from that. But when you sit down with a piece of paper and a pencil, and you actually do mathematics, that's when the real learning occurs. I used to have this friend, and he used to always say that learning does not take place in the classroom. Now, I didn't really agree with him on that completely, but what he was trying to say was, you go to class, you watch, you take notes, you write stuff down, you're not really doing mathematics. You are an active participant because maybe you're asking questions, which is a great way to learn mathematics. When you raise your hand and ask a question, you're talking about mathematics. That is very powerful, extremely powerful. And so being in the classroom does help. But his point was when you go home and you sit down and you're alone in a room with a pencil, and a paper, and it's just you and your thoughts and the math book and the math problem in front of you. And you sit down and you work out that proof 
on your own and you figure it out on your own and you put that period in that QED at the end of that proof on your own, that's doing mathematics. That's how you learn and that's how you progress and that's how you get better. But consistency is key, okay? It's key. Paul has another quote. I, I love Paul Hamels. He, he, great quotes. He, and this is, again, common sense. But he said that when, whenever he was trying to learn something new in mathematics, I'm getting goosebumps, he would basically gather as many problems as he could, and as many examples as he could, and just like envelop himself and just like completely emerge himself in it. You know, I imagine Paul in his office in the 70s and the 80s with stacks of papers and books and just pouring over mathematics and just reading examples and just really embracing the lifestyle. This was his job. This was his passion. Yeah, Paul Helmholtz, legendary, legendary mathematician. After you're done watching this video, I, I do encourage you to just go to Google and type in Paul Helmholtz, and, and you can read about this great Hungarian mathematician. He was, to me, he's one of the greatest mathematicians of all time in some sense because his quotes are very powerful. He, he's said a lot of good things, and he's written a lot of very good books. So I think that his contribu contributions to mathematics as a whole, not just his research, but his books, the things he's done, the contributions that this man gave to mathematics, that he gave to the world, are great. Because it, it's not just about research, right? Uh, there are mathematicians that do research, but some people write books. And Paul had some you know, really inspirational things to say, I think, that, that affect a lot of people. I mean, it, it affected me. I, I think his words, even though I never met him, uh, they, they really stay with me. Because the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics, okay? Remember that when you're feeling like you can't learn something. You, it's, it's more than just, you know, watching a video. It's more than just going to class and taking notes. It's that next level, you know, sitting down and actually doing it. And, and you don't have to do, you know, hours and hours. You can watch some videos, you know, and stuff. That's fine. Don't stop watching videos. What I'm saying is just make sure you do take some time out of your day. Just, just a little bit. You know, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't have it a, a crazy, you know, need to master a bunch of math in a short period of time, then no rush, right? But just do a little bit every day. And those incremental changes are going to make such a big deal in your performance. You will get so much better at math. All right, Paul Hamels was right. He, he, was, he, was, he was right. He was a legend. Anyways, it's just a random video I wanted to make because I was just thinking about the quote and I was actually going to sit down and read a book I have, and, and just maybe do a problem or two just for a little while. And, and I thought of this quote, so I thought, let me just make this video really quickly to just share it with you, because I think maybe it can help you. You know, if you're feeling like you, you've tried everything, are you actually doing mathematics? Are, are you sitting down and solving the problems on your own with no resources, right? Figuring out the problems, thinking about it, that's, that's doing mathematics, and that's how you learn. Speaking of watching mathematics and not doing mathematics, um, if you want to uh, learn mathematics, I do have courses. They have videos. You can watch them and they have assignments. The courses are on Udemy, which is a reputable place to take courses. But if you get them, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com, or from the description of any of my videos. And I have courses on most basic math subjects and a couple more advanced ones. So, you know, I've got algebra, trig, Calculus 1, 2, 3, Differential Equations, Abstract Algebra, Advanced Calculus, and then some other random miscellaneous courses. And if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to. If you don't, it's okay. The most important thing you should take away from this video is that if you want to learn something, it doesn't really matter what it is. You should do that thing, okay? And this is true for everything, okay? If you want to learn to program in C, you need to program in C. If you want to get better at running, you need to run. And let me just say one more thing. I know I was gonna stop the video, but if you're in a classroom 
and you're trying to learn, let's just say, trigonometry, you need to be doing trigonometry. And I say this because typically, and this is just how human beings are wired, this is, it's a human condition, I'm convinced it is. It's just how we are. Whenever we're in a situation, like a classroom, and we're told, here's what you're gonna learn, here's what you have to do, here's the deadlines. At first, it's really exciting, and people are motivated. And I see this both in the math books, because I can see that people underline heavily in those first few chapters, and I can see it in the classroom, because I can see the enthusiasm start to wane after the first few weeks. People start off incredibly motivated. They lose their motivation, and then when things get hard, because the courses do get harder, they say, oh, I'm lacking some skills because I don't understand X, Y, Z. So they backtrack and go review material that's fundamental that perhaps they're missing, which is fine, but that's easier to do than actually sitting down and banging your head against the wall and figuring out the mathematics that you need to do for today. So if you're in trig, focus on trig. It's okay to spend some time you know, doing something else, but focus on what you need to learn. If you're in calculus, learn calculus, do calculus. So in general, Paul's quote, in some sense, can be applied to anything in life. If you want to learn something, you have to do that thing. And again, it's very easy when that thing is hard to find excuses not to do that thing or to do easier things, as in my example with trig. You know, you're in trig, you feel like maybe your algebra is weak, so you go back and solve quadratic equations. No, <laughs> it's not gonna help you that much. Uh, or a better example is calculus. You know, if you're in calculus, if your algebra is weak, it is a good idea to go back and review algebra. It is a good idea to go back and review trig. It's a great idea, but make sure it doesn't come at the cost of your current responsibilities, which in our example is learning calculus. So to learn calculus, you must do calculus. And like the legendary Paul Hamill said, to learn mathematics, one must do mathematics. Now go do some math. Take care.